here's my upgraded English wheel. This is just a cheap English wheel that you would find at Harbor Freight or up in Canada here, KMS Tools. So what I did here is I found that a lot of times when I use this, the jaws were snapping together if I put too much pressure on it. And I also found that the head was moving around a little bit too much. So if I come in here, you can see that it barely even moves anymore. And I polished the dies on both sides just to give it a little bit more, uh, I don't know, it wouldn't leave marks in the work. And I went and added this backbone out of some roll cage tubing that I had left from another project. And when I did that, I added a trailer hitch in here because we're going to make a metal shaping station today. And I actually turned these legs so that they're opposite of what they're supposed to be. And I added that little foot. And then this way I could have all of my dies at the ready. And added this 1x2 tubing all the way up to add just a little bit of strength. And of course you got to have a beer cap remover and I keep my markers in it works a lot better much more rigid than what it was and I look forward to really getting busy and metal shaping some stuff on this setup now to build my metal shaping station what I'm using is a, a truck mount vise for a trailer hitch on a truck it's not quite long enough to hit the floor and I want to put some tension in it because there is a little bit of looseness in the, uh, uh, in the hitch that goes into the English wheel. Now this here is a jack off of my uh, trailer and I broke it because it wouldn't go all the way up and I hit a piece of concrete and I bent it. So I cut some pieces out of it and there's the threaded rod that's out of it. But what I'm going to do as you can see my mark where I'm going to cut it around the weld. I'm going to cut it, slide this back through the top, and I'm going to weld it in and weld the plate to the top of here so that it goes into the, the trailer hitch material that's on the bottom of the vise. And I got some leftover roll bar tubing. And uh, I'm going to take the nuts out of this. I'm going to cut it out and put it onto the end of the trailer hitch, or actually, sorry, the uh, roll bar tubing. And I'm gonna be able to hand screw it down so that I can put some tension onto it. And after that, I've got some trailer hitch material that was on sale at Princess Auto that I'm gonna cut up, and I'm basically gonna make a T so that I can hook the planishing hammer into it. And the next step is gonna be raising the planishing hammer nine inches because it's way too low for what my height is.
sway bar end link washer stacked on top of a big washer for a three quarter inch bolt. Rubber foot for industrial equipment that got broken off. The threads are all hatched, but they're not down here. So I'm gonna tack this onto here just so it sits on top of there and get some support and I can unscrew it and weld the whole thing on. A little bit of galvanizing on there bubbling up. But uh, give that a little shot with the grinder, make it look nice. We're almost ready to roll. Hopefully, you can see this. But here's the little stud that we just made. Put it in there, throw some weld around it, screw our foot back on. Then we can get the chop and the other piece up. Guess I should put my welding helmet on. Smooth off the corner so there's no sharp edges. We're gonna be good to go. So now you can see that I've got my uh, stand in place. I've got the welding stand holding up the panel beating station. So I'm going to cut it off right about there. I mean, I could adjust it, but I kind of like the length of that leg that's sticking out because it puts my... I didn't show it on camera, but I put a bit of a spacer in there um, to hold the tube straight as it goes up and down. And it's a little tight. I'm probably going to take it all apart and grease it again before I put this all back together. But I'll make a little bit of a cut there, tack it in, and the beauty of the trailer hitch is I can take it out, take it over the bench, weld up the bottom of it, weld all that together, throw it back in. And uh, it's not really that great of a day outside, so I might have to wait till spring or a nicer day to paint this because I'm gonna do some more work on that thing. Not exactly nice out here right now. And here we go. Kind of a semi-finished product. This is nice and solid. Doesn't even move when I hit it. And it's nice and open on the ends. Obviously I'm gonna move all this stuff out. But what I'm thinking about doing is making a T right here to adapt all my stuff to it. Like I said, once it warms up a bit, then I can paint the leg, have everything good to go. Right now, this will work. This is gonna be awesome. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the bell. Share this video, and be sure to comment below. I always try to reply back. There's a lot of great content coming up on this channel, and you don't wanna miss it. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. Let's hang out in the garage.